Hello, thank you for joining us. In this reaction video, we will be listening to Pink Floyd's Comfortably Numb live performance, Pulse Performance from 1994. All right, Pink Floyd. Uh -huh. I love Pink Floyd. I don't know too many Pink Floyd songs. I don't know if I've heard this song either. Um, Pink Floyd's one of the bands that I haven't really listened very much of, actually. Um, so I'm really excited to actually hear more from them. I'm not, I'm not that familiar with Pink Floyd, but once I hear their music, I'll probably recognize it. All right. Well, I don't know if I will. Um, I don't know why I don't listen to very much Pink Floyd. Maybe that'll have to change after we listen to this song, but this was such a highly requested song in the comments. Almost every one of our, uh, rock kind of genre reaction videos we get listen to pink floyd's comfortably numb live at pulse we've got at least at least a few a hundred quite a few of those comments so we're finally getting to it today and i'm really excited i'm looking forward to it i'm sure i'm going to love it so are you ready to get started i, I am i am very ready all right let's go I just have to say, I know I've heard that they are known for the light shows and the lasers and the the colors and stuff. So this is the first time that I'm seeing that. And it was very interesting, the, um, the effect that they had on the vocals, very echoey, but then also kind of, I don't know, scratchy isn't the right word, but it has that kind of darkness to it that you almost feel feel very dreamlike or maybe nightmarish where it's kind of growly or scratchy. They did some kind of, there's something over the voice, over the vocals to kind of give it that, I don't know, that sound. It's an incredible sound and I know I've heard this song before probably many, many times. It does sound different with the concert version. Okay. Um, but it is kind of dreamy, but dreamy in a, in a, I don't know what the right word is. Um, you don't know what to expect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I'll back it up here cause I paused it right on the singing. So I will back it up. I do like the light show. Now I've got that feeling once 
a dreamy quality to it a dreamy I don't know if that's the right word but I would say a dreamy nightmare but nightmare is too off to one side and dreamy is not dark enough for a word maybe nightmare is too dark of a word yeah so something in the middle is that where you're going with it not exactly, because when I say dreamy, I'm not thinking of a nightmare. I'm not thinking of anything haunting, although, you know, this is the beginning and it, I just get sort of dreamy, soothing, and just sort of relaxing, but you don't get that at all. That's what I, I get. I'm thinking the exact opposite of you. I'm getting, because he's saying that he's comfortably numb comfortably numb it, it sounds like there's drugs involved and the drugs are helping him I think he said get through the show so to me being comfortably numb at least in this context it, it's um like, you know, people who are really depressed or really sad and they have to um, drink or they have to take drugs just to kind of ease that pain. And then when you get drunk or when you get high, you become numb. And you're comfortable with that numbness because you're trying to ease your pain, whether Ooh. physical or mental pain. And for me, that's not dreamy. It's, 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 it's tiptoeing between a kind of an ethereal feel, but also you can fall to one side. And if you go too far into that comfortable numbness, you have nothing left. There's no pain, but then there's no hope either. And I feel like this song is kind of tiptoeing on that sort of theme. Hmm. I'm I'm not I'm not really sure. I'll have to listen to the whole song again, but yeah. I just get some um mysterious, mysterious dreamy yeah. vibes from from okay. it so far. Okay. See, your lips are moving, moving but, but I can't, I can't hear, hear what you're saying. saying. That to me is he's high and there's a, a disconnect between maybe reality 
and what he's feeling being high. I, I, I see what you're saying. And I do love his voice. Yeah, we haven't even gone. I'm, I'm you know me in lyrics, so. You yeah, know I'm me the in lyric voice. queen. I'm the, the voice queen. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Let me, let me, I, I'm listening to, I can't catch every word. I think this is. I turn to the but it was gone. I cannot put my finger on it now. It shall is broke, the fear is gone. When he was a child, he had a fleeting glimpse, but then he looked away and now it's gone. Okay, I'm not really sure what that means. Um, I think this is tying into the comfortably numb theme of the song that the innocence of childhood and then kind of the realities of adulthood that when he was a child he had a fleeting glimpse of who he was going to be or hope or something but now it's gone hmm. and now he probably and now he's comfortably numb as an adult that innocence is gone or that hope is gone hmm anyways that's my interpretation all right Um, before I forget, I just, the stage is incredible. It's amazing how it, 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 imagine being there and all those people just so tuned in to the whole performance. Well, I, I can at least agree with you that the guitar solos, there was one a little bit in the beginning and one now we're in the middle. These are very soothing. The guitar solos are really, really nice. And it it's just giving me kind of the, the whole light show and the guitar solos and that big white light that came out. It's giving me very much ethereal kind of vibes for sure. Oh yeah, absolutely. I just love the whole thing.
Holy moly. Cow. It the stage looks like there's a spaceship. I was going to say, no, me first, me first. I was going to say it's giving me mothership spaceship beam me up kind of yes yes kind of vibe. yes yeah yeah okay i was having a moment there during that entire instrument solo guitar solo instrument part of the song because okay i don't know how to explain this i was i, I was having a moment to myself here i got very teary-eyed kind of emotional because that was fantastic first of all yeah that entire instrument part of the song, the guitar, everything, the the show, the looked like an alien spaceship coming to beam you up and and take you to another planet and the lights and I can't imagine what it was like being here. Incredible. If this is how I felt watching a video, I can't imagine what it would have felt being there. But the song for me at least has a tinge of sadness to it, even when they were just playing the instruments, even when he was just playing the, the guitar, not any of the singing parts. It was beautiful and it had that dreamlike quality, but with a sadness to it. I, I'm still sticking with my theory of the song, being comfortably numb, and then especially in the beginning of the song where he's like, hello? Is there anyone there? During, during that, um, where they, like I said, that kind of raspy kind of tone to the the audio it it's like saying hello am I alone am I the only one feeling this way is there anyone else mm -hmm. that can relate to me and feeling becoming not just he is comfortably numb he became comfortably numb so it, it just gives me that that feeling of kind of hopelessness and sadness. And I felt that in the instruments as well. I felt that and that's why I was kind of having a moment there. And then on top of it, the visuals are just incredible. His voice almost kind of has that haunting quality to it. But very smooth. But stop me now. But it is very smooth too. I mean, you can just close your eyes and have your glass of wine and listen to this song. But for me, it's almost, it's relaxing, but then it, it's also got that sadness to it. I can understand where you're coming from. Um, I would probably have a glass of wine, which I typically don't even have a glass of wine, but, but I could visualize myself just after a long day listening to that song with a glass of wine and just kind of unwinding because for me, it, his voice is very soothing. Yeah, I get that. And it's not as if it's a fast, hard rock song. It's yeah. just sort of smooth. It is a smooth song, but I feel like it's in a song that's supposed to make you think. It's supposed to invoke some sort of emotion, some sort of you know, understanding of the songwriter and and that sadness that he's talking about in the song. Well, I, I think I understand where you're coming from because I don't experience this anymore, but during my younger days, you know so many different people and you hang out or you go to parties, go to clubs, whatever. Well, during that time, many, many years ago, when I did used to go out a lot or hang out a lot, not all of my friends, but there were a few that were going through some stuff and they felt like they had to take drugs or drink too much to uh, feel numb so they wouldn't feel the pain. Mm -hmm. So I guess in that sense, it's, it's a little sad if you're experiencing something like that. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm picking up as far as just the lyric side of the song. Yeah, I get that. And then, of course, there's other people who would you know, smoke weed or drink that they're not necessarily going through anything. They just like the feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Well, being comfortably numb, I mean, kind of sums it up for me, but that was an incredible, incredible performance. I can't talk. What else do you say about that performance? I mean, visually, it was 
a masterpiece. I mean, that thing that came down and almost turned out into like a flower and then the big circle thing that kept moving on the stage in different directions and then the, the big arch of lights. A lot going on. And then on. the laser beams of lights. No wonder they're known for their light show. I mean, that is one thing that I've heard a lot about Pink Floyd is they're known for lasers, uh, kind of known for drugs. <laughs> And um, I would have loved to have been there. I would have been four years old at that concert. <laughs> but you should have little, taken me. A little too young. <laughs> and I would have to put those headphones on your ears. Probably if I was four, but not anymore. But man, I would have loved to be, have been there because that looked incredible. And this is only one song from this concert. Mm -hmm. Wow. I can't imagine the whole concert being there. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was incredible. Just the whole the whole performance, the concert and all the lights, everything that you said. I'm not going to repeat what you said, but basically you get the whole experience and his incredible voice. Well, thank you to everybody who recommended the song. This is probably one of our highest recommended songs in the comments, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. This song was was recommended a lot. So Thank you. You guys know what you're talking about. You introduced me to this song and um, it was fantastic. So give this video a like if you enjoyed it and enjoyed my experience hearing the song for the first time and uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Let us know what other songs you want us to react to. We always take requests by our subscribers and the comments and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.